recorders welcome to the first interview of 2021 i am so happy to bring you maria canales barrera it's like i've been a huge fan of hers from wizards of waverly place to hawk girl from uh, justice lee it's like i love this woman thank you so much for tuning in and one two three it's recording time hi steven hi maria ah such a pleasure to meet you Pleasure to meet you, too. I like your shirt. <laughs> well, going ghost this year. <laughs> Maria, how have you been enjoying the new year? I've been great because I feel very positive and I'm, I'm trying to get like more organized and better at cleaning my home. I'm really <laughs> excited about it and trying to get rid of clutter. I have too much stuff that I don't necessarily need. So that's my goal. Yeah. One question, uh, like, uh, how do you felt that uh, Hawk Girl had like a huge amount of character development in Justice League Unlimited? How did it feel? It felt great. I got to play all kinds of conflict and emotional drama, and uh, it was wonderful. As an actor, it was a great challenge and a privilege to have such great writing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and especially like, especially like, I took this uh, class in college about how uh, Mexicans are like treated in Hollywood, like giving a stereotypical roles do you feel like it helped you overcome those stereotypes like being the latin lover or the funny clown or comedic relief yes i think that people of hispanic heritage uh do get put in a box and so i really like that it wasn't necessarily about um any kind of stereotype it was about this superhero and her challenges her purpose and uh, it let me be the human that I am without any added boxes to fill. And uh, let me just tap into the, the actors and the emotions. And I got to to be everything that I am is in the human spirit, you know. <clears throat> I didn't feel any weird expectations to fill in any preconceived boxes based on my uh, origins. You know, my parents are from Cuba. <clears throat> I've never been. I love that it's part of my heritage, but... You know, you can't put a, a person in a box based on where their parents are from or even where they're from. It's, you know, people are human beings. But don't get me started on that. But, yeah, you're, you're right. It was um, it was a great opportunity for me to show um, everything that I can do as an actress. And it was fun. Oh, I'm going to send a copy of this to my professor for her to show to her class. Like, she teaches uh, Mexican-American studies, and one of them is, like, uh, how... You know, like uh, she showed movies like uh, Stand in the Liver and yeah. uh, La Bamba and like a whole bunch. And I know you, she'll really much appreciate this. La Bamba is such a great movie. Did you see Mi Familia, My Family? I, that movie? No, I don't think so, Maria. Because I'm in that one. I'll double check. I'll double yeah. check with her. That's, that's about a Mexican-American family in, in L.A. Uh, throughout many uh, generations. That was a lot of fun to do. But that's great. I, I love that you're learning about things like that. It's important. Mm -hmm. My final question is, what do you think of the chances of a Wizards of Waverly Place reunion? I loved it. Oh, my gosh. I would love for there to be. I don't see why we're not doing it, honestly. Everybody's in. Even Selena, who's the busiest one of us all, she said that she'd be open to it. So I would love it. I would do it in a second. Anyway, thank you so much for your uh, like extended time with me. Like, I really appreciate it. It's like kind of really made my day. Oh, thank you, Stephen. My pleasure. And maybe we'll work together one day. You never know. Thank you so much for your time, Maria. And we are out, recorders. And also, I just want to give a very um, special thank you to my amazing professor, Dr. Borrera. She like, you know, like when I first came to her class when I was a transfer student, it's like, First class of, you know, being at a four-year university and, you know, like, I came into her room and she was there and she was so welcoming. She, like, went to every student and properly greeted them. I mean, how many t professors do you have do that? And she's like, her class definitely changed my perspective of and finally realizing how Hollywood depicts Latinos either as a gangster, you know, like... Uh, the uh, you know, just to be the sexy woman or, you know, Latin lover or all that shit. It's like, I really thank you. And she was really like one of my biggest supporters back like five years ago. And to this day, I met, I have not talked to her, but I definitely will. And it's like, I am so glad I took her because and every everyone deserves like that kind of teacher in your life. And it's like, 
Thank you so much, Dr. Borrera, and I will always like be in your debt for what you taught me. Anyway, recorders, please hit that subscribe button, comment down below, give us a like, it really helps us out, especially if you guys want me to keep getting these guesses, and we are out!